and heartburn is is this usually a benign condition, um, and it's oftentimes lifestyle related, um, and you can treat it, you know, periodically with you know as needed, you know, baking soda or Alka Seltzer or Tums if it's mild. Mm. But if you're having heartburn all the time, the first thing you need to do is say, well, what's driving this? Um, and again, it's not not necessarily stomach acid. In fact, there are a fair number of people who actually have their heartburn because of lack of stomach acid. Yes. Um, and you can actually do some testing for uh, lack of stomach acid. If, if it's significant, you can actually do testing uh, for gastrin levels. So, um, and I actually oftentimes will do this on my patients uh, who are on the, uh, the proton pump inhibitors. So gastrin is produced by the body to tell the body to produce more acid. So if you're taking these heartburn medications, for a, a long period of time. And if you're escalating, you start on a low dose and you go to a moderate yeah. dose and you go to a your high dose, level. you're really dropping your stomach acids. Your body says, hey, guess what? We need to make more stomach acid. So it produces a lot more gastrin. And then what happens is because you have so much gastrin, you go off of the medication, your body now now starts pumping out lots of acid. And then guess what? You're going to get withdrawal symptoms. Oh my symptoms. gosh, Todd, this is, this is the biggest scam ever. Because exactly. <laughs> basically, they create a drug that makes you addicted to it you treat a condition which is pretty benign. When you try to stop the drug, it come back with a vengeance. Yes. And so you get hooked on the drugs. Well, I have to take it because as soon as I stop it, I get worse. And exactly. I get worse than I was before I took it. Yeah.